Hey, what's up, guys? It's Blue Stream 8075 back here with another Minecraft video. And, um, well, I am in creative mode this video, but, um, I'm going to set it to survival now. There we go. Now, you were probably wondering why was why am i in what why was i on a chandelier in his stronghold at the start of the video yeah i don't know either and now i'm not here for the portal as you can see th this is a fossil and i found this awesome seed this is a very, it's a very rare occurrence. I found a fossil, the rarest Minecraft structure, inside of Stronghold, one of the other rarest structures in the game. The fossil does nothing, but today we are going to have an early look at what archaeology might be like for Minecraft. But I'm no modder, so I'll just show you a dinosaur update, I guess. So, here we have an archaeology gist here. And yes, this is in the swamp biome. So, if we look in the chest, this chest is technically the whole video. The whole point of the video is in this chest here. So let's open it. So these are the different fossils of different dinosaurs. And this is what I imagine the dinosaurs would drop. So there would so there would be an archaeology table which would which you would place an egg in you, you would place an egg somewhere in just ignores that the fact it's not an archaeology table but you would place an egg somewhere and then you would place um some item and then it would technically charge it with something and then there would be a dinosaur egg here and it would spawn one of these creatures. A Tyrannosaurus, a Spinosaur, a Saprosuchus, a Triceratops, a Dunkleosteus, a Velociraptor, or a Titanoboa even, which is going to be the hardest challenge, the Titanoboa. But I... But as I said, I'm no modder. Well, I only do simple mods. More about that later. Okay. So, I would think that the T-Rex would... Would drop Tyrannosaurus fossil... Oh, wait. You could put... You could put a fossil... It, you, you could put a fossil to charge the egg to make a Tyrannosaurus egg if you have a Tyrannosaurus fossil. But anyways, at, I imagine a Tyrannosaurus dro dropping 52 of these blocks and some war Tyrannosauruses too. And a wall one would do nine food bars, which is a lot. Anyways, put this back in. The next one is a Spinosaur. And the Spinosaur would drop 18 Spinosaur fossil blocks, some wall piranhas, 32 to be exact, which would do four bars of food help and they would also drop some salmon too 
And this is the first one with a cu custom textured one. This is a Saprosuchus one, which is a type of crocodile. A, sa a Saprosuchus would drop 14 of a type of meat, like for example, steak or something, steak or pork or anything. And then they would drop crocodile spikes. Now these crocodile spikes do two hearts of damage. You you control them to do you control them to do one heart of damage, and then if you hit it with one, then it will do two hearts of damage. Now. I imagine these as a weapon and they would have 10 durability which makes them not the greatest weapon but they are the first ever stackable weapon. Okay. Now this would be the Triceratops fossil block. We, um, we'll get to the Triceratops later because this ladder leads to one. I did a bit of coding, by the way. So I, I was imagining it could drop Triceratops fossil blocks. And I'm thinking a Triceratops would drop 12 Triceratops fossil blocks. Say that really fast. Totally will try to teeth, totally not an end rod for from a different dimension. There's a trike teeth, there's trike teeth which would do five health. Now see as I said health there. I didn't say hearts. This is because it, it it's half a heart. It's half of a heart for me health. So this would do five health of damage, which means it would do two heart, two hearts, and one and one half heart, which is as much as a diamond shovel or pickaxe. And a triceratops would also drop trike mints, which would do one food bar. But you can take nine of these and craft them all together to make trike meat. You have trike meat here, oh, and also the bucket of piranha. And the trike meat, I assume it would do ten, 10 bars. Okay, then the Dunkleus Stis. So, a Dunkleus Stis would have to be a turtle egg and not a normal egg. So a Donkleosteus would need to be spawned underwater, which is a whole thing, reason. Now a Donkleosteus would do 10 damage, 10 damage, see I said damage there, which would mean five pots, 10, do 10, 10 damage, and it would, Drop Dunkleus Steer's teeth, which do do 50 damage. Now you only get two of them, and these only have one durability. So you have to use this in the correct moment in emergencies. The Dunkleus Steer's teeth, and then a Velociraptor fossil. And also, the how you get the fossil blocks is you just look for them. This is a fossil here, and I imagine this one being a T-Rex or a Spinosaur fossil. And this would, and a Velociraptor fossil would drop a random type of meat. Hmm like steak as i said before and then the titanoboa it drops nothing but 
a random type of meat. Well, um, I don't think that's good enough. So tell me what you think a Titanoboroth should drop. It would be the first snake in Minecraft, so I'm thinking snake skin or something. Now, we, now this is, um, we're going to see one, we're going to see the archaeologist and, um, he, he likes piranhas, um, hello, the archaeologist, yeah, he trades piranhas. And, um, well, he trades, um, buckets of piranhas too. Oh, wait, no, that, that's whetstone. You just became a cleric. Bad. Why is your name archaeologist when you're a cleric? Have, have the piranhas. And you know what? Have a live piranha too. Yeah, he's evil. Anyways, let's get to the triceratops. Um, let's get outside um this is so these may look like tricep these may look like um zombies so these may look like ravager spawn eggs but trust me they're not yeah they are well they're not any Oh, they're not any type. They're, um, I coded, I, I coded Triceratops in Minecraft. Now this one, we're going to, oh, hey, that, that, that's a better sword. Okay, this one we're going to fight. And surprisingly, I heard that you can tame Triceratopsis too with raw mutton. Now, first, let's fight it. What happened? What? What do you? Do? Why do you not attack? Attack? I thought that was you. Attack me! all you do well I was going to make him well I guess we can tame one that was so un that was so more undramatic than I thought okay hello triceratops I have your favorite food war sheep I, I tamed him and I'm I'm riding him. Um I don't think you would be able to ride with ravage you without your head getting decapitated, but it looks cool. Oh no it not so Okay now come 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 Oh, you're lame. Oh. Oh. I have no friends now. Well, anyways. Did you kill? Never mind.
Now what was he storing here? Wait, that, that shiny. He was storing shiny. Wait, wait, this. Wait, this is a different fossil. Oh my gosh. He stored two fossils here in this very stronghold. Fossils are the worst thing in the game. I'm surprised they found two of these. Wait, is this the same room as before? No, it's the uh, how? How exactly? I don't know. I just oh, used a random seed. I went to the stronghold and I just found two fossils. Okay, the seed is in the description for people who want the coordinates and the seed is in the description. So once you get to this seed, you have to go to the coordinates too. But I guess that's going to be it for the video. And goodbye. This video did not turn out as planned, but goodbye. Yay. Okay, that was a bad outro. Goodbye. Seriously.